It's over. <laughs> My dear colleagues, uh, we said that we would give them five minutes more, but the five minutes are over. And so I suggest that uh, we start, uh, and we will be perhaps uh, as uh, expeditious in our messages uh, uh, and our uh, exposition, but I count very much on the audience to be as vivid, alive, and uh, aggressive, if I may, as possible in the question, because, uh, because again, we have uh, uh, perhaps even more stuff to discuss than was the case before, and uh, I don't want to uh, take myself too much of the time. I will only say that uh, we, have, uh, we had a dramatic inflection point starting uh, mid last year and uh, with the uh, inflation being back with a vengeance in the advanced economy and by way of consequence in the entire world. And that of course has progressively with some lags to be frank, uh, changed the monetary policy of the central banks uh, of the advanced economy and by way of consequence of many others. And uh, uh, even if it was uh, relatively recent, because after all, the first interest rate increase in the US was, if I'm not misled, in March this year, but this was really marking the inflection point. So we are in a totally different universe uh, if I compare that universe with uh, what uh, we had experienced uh, during say, uh, around 10 years since uh, Lehman Brothers and uh, the post Lehman Brothers start of the recovery. So we are in a different universe and that has a number of consequences which are considerable for uh, uh, financial, uh, the sharp financial world and, uh, and all the issues that I suggest that we could discuss. As some of you have seen, I thought it was useful to send uh, some kind of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, wrap up of what's going on at the global level in terms of non-bank uh, finance and uh, the uh, uh, very active way, I have to say, the Financial Stability Board, the IMF, the international institutions have to, and, and the government and, uh, and institutions concerned, uh, to uh, have a, a very active way to try to regain control of this uh, intermediation, taking into account that the, the commercial banks and investment bank in intermediation has been considerably improved since uh, uh, Lehman Brothers over the last 12 years, say, but uh, it's not the case at all for uh, non-banks and all that kind of uh, uh, intermediation which is coming from the non-banks is probably the place where we have the most uh, dramatic, uh, uh, I would say, threats to financial stability uh, in the world. To, to make a long story short, let me tell you that I consider that we are still in a world which is extraordinarily fragile on this front, uh, the financial front, and that uh, uh, new, I would say, uh, crisis, substantial crisis, uh, are not to be excluded at all. So only for me to list a number of questions, it's not exhaustive, there are many, many other questions, but only to, to be sure that uh, I convey myself uh, some of the questions which seems to me interesting and stimulating, but I, I count on uh, all of us uh, to be as, uh, I would say, uh, imaginative and creative in uh, their own question. I would say first, what is the likelihood of central banks of the advanced economy uh, succeeding in regaining control of, uh, of inflation? They are committed to produce around 2% inflation on both sides of the Atlantic and in the other advanced economy and by way of consequence in, in many other uh, economies. Uh, in the medium term, which I would interpret in saying in three years time, normally, uh, if the central banks are uh, credible and if they are taking the right decisions, if there are n not new dramatic events that could come, it seems to me 
uh, reasonable to say that, after all, it's pretty possible that we would be in the US, in, Euro in the Euro area, in Europe as a whole, around 2% in three years' time. But uh, nevertheless, <laughs> there is a question mark, and many of us might be disagree, of course, with this, uh, uh, I would say, statement of the central bank, which has been done, again, very, very uh, forcefully by Jay Powell, by Christine Lagarde, and others. Second, uh, as always, do we have any comment on the present projections of the global growth by the international institutions? Some of us are, have certainly comments that would be interesting. Uh, third, uh, are we correcting, cor correctly assessing the divergences between the advanced economies, the developing world, the emerging countries? What about the, uh, I would say, fragility of the developing countries? What about the probability of having big, big issues there? Uh, what is the likelihood of a financial crisis triggered by genuine mo major market corrections? I already mentioned that. Sudden stops in major market functioning, sudden stops in some of the uh, non-bank intermediation, public or private, abrupt debt losses of credit worthiness, asset bubbles, uh, correction, and so forth. Another issue uh, could, should be addressed, uh, crypto assets. What are the, I would say, uh, cause and consequences of uh, what happened in the crypto world? Uh, can we expect much more drama in this domain? And what is the judgment that we can make? Only uh, to convey to you what I think, uh, I have to say that I don't understand with uh, the benefit of hindsight how we, we could let such uh, instruments, at least those instruments that are purely speculative, prosper as they have. Another issue linked to, the, to this one is uh, cyber, cyber insecurity. Is it a major threat to financial stability? and uh, which kind of uh, correction can we imagine? And uh, say that, uh, uh, can we exclude a major financial disruption which would be caused by climate change? What uh, consequence to be drawn from that? And associated with that, do you share or not, or do we share or not the uh, judgment that it is very likely that uh, the green transition would trigger uh, the uh, real interest rates at a global level much higher than in the past, taking into account that it's very likely that the savings glut will progressively evaporate, taking into account the immense new uh, amount of, uh, of uh, uh, investment that is associated with the green transition and also the uh, replacement of the stock of capital, which is, making, which is made obsolete because of the green transition. So uh, these are issues that are important. And of course, uh, I conclude by that, because if on top of the change of the monetary policy of the, of the major central banks, we also have real interest rates higher uh, than it was the case in the last 10 or 12 years, it, is aggravating, probably seen from the uh, financial uh, uh, stability standpoint, the situation. So this is uh, only to, to be sure that on my part, uh, I uh, have conveyed uh, a number of questions, which of course would be very interesting to have response to uh, if uh, it is possible. And I'm speaking of course of the, of the speakers, but also uh, of uh, the uh, Audience, because because I know that a number of uh, of you in the audience have also remarks to to be made that are important for uh, for all of us.